Hi, everyone, and welcome to our presentation on cloud-based laboratory informatics beating healthcare innovation. My name is Carol Ross. And I am a product manager with Beckman Coulter, uh, which, and I'll be talking to you more about uh, what we do. And I'm also joined by Doug Mueller, who is a customer who's going to be able to speak to you about his experience with our cloud-based products. So Beckman Coulter is an in vitro diagnostics company focused on supporting clinical laboratories with automated testing. And the history of Beckman Coulter is really one of innovation, uh, beginning in 1935 with Dr. Beckman's solution for determining the precise measurement of pH or acidity in lemon juice that he was growing, actually was in his neighbor's backyard. And he invented the acidometer or a pH meter which was built in a small operation in the back of his garage in Pasadena, California. And that invention forms the basis of our automated chemistry business today. And then in 1948, Dr. Wallace Coulter developed what was called the Coulter Principle, which is actually a method of counting cells by measuring changes in the electrical impedance as blood cells pass through openings. And that became the foundation of automated hematology or cell counting in clinical laboratories. In 1998, the companies merged to form Beckman Coulter, which actually covers then two different areas of the laboratory, the chemistry aspect from the Beckman organization and the hematology from Coulter. In 2011, Beckman Coulter was acquired by Danaher Danaher has a reputation for investing in companies, instituting the use of Danaher business systems to drive operational improvements. And Beckman Coulter is really seeing the benefits of that Danaher investment now. In, in the next three years, we will be launching 118 new products, including instruments, assays, and informatics. In 2017, we introduced our DX1 portfolio. The instruments that we use in the lab or that we produce for customers to use in their laboratories produce a lot of data, and our customers need ways to manage and use that data. And one of the products in the portfolio includes the first cloud-based middleware, DX1 Workflow Manager, and we'll be talking more about that today. So first, a little bit about the power of DBS. Danaher Business System is the way that we really go about doing our business uh, here at Beckman Coulter. We believe that success does not happen by accident. We actually have a proven system to achieve it, and that is the Danaher Business System. And we live by these pillars of DBS, um, two of which you can see here include customers talk, we listen, and the other being innovation defines our future. So by listening to cu our customers over the past several years, we really understood their challenges and we are constantly looking for uh, and using continuous process improvement principles to help us drive innovation to solve those problems. So one of the ways that we used innovation was to really rethink the way that we were delivering our informatics products to our customers. Back in 2016, we introduced this strategy uh, where we decided to move away from boxed IT solutions where data effectively exists in a data jail um, in individual databases and ser servers. So our vision then was to create ways to collect and aggregate data for our customers and then deliver apps on top of it that could access that data in different ways and really deliver the different capabilities that our customers need. So some examples you can see on the right hand side there are analytics, the middleware product that we'll be talking about, and also inventory management. We had been delivering IT solutions on premise for years, but we realized that actually our customers had a lot of challenges with that, including the need to maintain hardware specific to just our application, 
um, the fact that the applications could only be accessed when you were scanning right in front of them um, or through remote desktop. Um, and also that we needed to continually worry about the size, the sizing of the machine because our customers were generating a lot of da data. And also in today's healthcare environment in the US, as the hospital networks began to grow and they started adding sites, uh, the amount of data being produced became an issue if we didn't have machines sized correctly. So by using the cloud, we were able to actually start solving some of those problems for our customers because using the cloud allows us to enable scalable architecture that grows with the data. It can prevent customers from having to maintain hardware and keeping operating systems up to date, and also allows the ability to aggregate data across customers when necessary, so customers can compare themselves to their peers. And then in addition to that, for Beckman Coulter, using Amazon Web Services, or AWS, allowed us to um, have a company that easily provided HIPAA-compliant architecture and infrastructure for us. They really have been a partner to help us as we've navigated into these new delivery models, especially in the healthcare space. And also the availability of R&D tools that make a certain functionality easier, like backup and encryption, which is important for data security. So let's talk a little bit about our actual product so that you can uh, understand more about the challenges. So in the laboratory in vitro diagnostic equipment that Beckman Coulter provides, I already mentioned that we produce a lot of data. There's a lot of tests being run, there's results, and there's all kinds of background information around that data. And historically, laboratories, as well as radiology departments and hospitals, were some of the first healthcare departments to start utilizing electronic data storage models just due to that amount of data. And laboratory information systems have been around since about the 1970s. But what we found is that as the sophistication of laboratories grew, the laboratory information systems, or LISs as I'll call them, remained really focused on managing the data, but not really the workflow of the lab. And so from that need, middleware was born because laboratories today face many challenges including trying to do more with less uh, there's a sh shortage today of trained laboratory technologists but at the same time there's a demand to be producing results more quickly and and always accuracy is of importance um, just think about how laboratory turnaround times impact things like emergency department length of stay so laboratory plays an important role um, in supporting those patients. And with sophisticated instruments and automation and robotic workflows, labs need software that can manage that download of requests to the instrument and automation and then the upload of the results from the instruments. And what we've done is we've, we have rule engines that basically help labs automate their standard operating processes or SOPs, things like when they need to repeat a test, when a result might need to be called, when a dilution is required. <clears throat> and labs can also enable something we call auto verification. And what that does is allows results that are basically normal or defined as meeting a strict set of criteria to pass directly to the physician without any need for manual review by a person. And this allows labs to do what they do best, um, get results out quickly to a physician, while at the same time allowing their trained personnel to concentrate on the things that really require human intervention and their attention. And so this is the solution that Beckman Coulter offers through its DX1 Workflow Manager middleware product. And instituting it through the cloud strategy, uh, we are also offering that solution only through the cloud and not on-premise. So this can give you an idea of what the data flow looks like with Workflow Manager in the laboratory environment. 
Uh, so we have uh, that number one there is the edge box. That's the one piece of uh, hardware that does sit in the lab and that handles all of the low level communication and also establishes the secure connection to the cloud. DX1 workflow manager application resides in a virtual private cloud in an AWS data center. And <clears throat> there we're able to locate then the instance in a data center near the customer and in the EU and, and other places, we can always offer it within country. AWS maintains HIPAA compliant data centers. And so with our additional application controls that we offer, this offering is very secure. Uh, we also use things like IP whitelisting and unique URLs for our customers. So the way the data flows then is that the, um, the LIS or the laboratory information system sends uh, or downloads, we call it orders or requests for lab tests on patients. They go through the edge box and are then sent to DX1 workflow manager in the cloud. And then when the sample arrives at the instrument, the sample or the, the instrument queries uh, workflow manager and it passes through the edge box to workflow manager in the cloud and then workflow manager answers back and says, these are the tests that you need to perform on that instrument or on that sample. And then the same thing happens when the instrument sends the results back, it passes it through the edge box up to DX1 workflow manager in the cloud. And then the user just interacts with workflow manager through the uh, web browser on the network. So that was sort of an overview of DX1 Workflow Manager. You can see that it provides that core value of middleware that I mentioned earlier, such as um, automating and standardizing workflows and processes. And we believe that providing it in the cloud is better than on-premise because of the fact that there's less hardware, it can be accessed from anywhere, and that scalability factor. And as we first started launching this product two years ago, we realized that there was actually sort of a hidden lab segment that had been historically left out of the middleware market. And that was smaller labs that don't really have physical robotic automation and so they don't need to necessarily um, deal with those workflows, but they still could enjoy the value of automating uh, other standard workflows. Those small labs, still have the same challenges as large labs, and maybe even more so in some situations. They're still trying to do more with less and, and yet provide high quality care. And from a Beckman culture perspective, we had not really previously approached these types of labs for purchasing our IT solutions, mainly because of things like budget constraints, purchasing perpetual licenses and, and hardware to support the IT was prohibited, uh, the, their lack of available IT resources to support any kind of complex infrastructure. And let's face it, honestly, Beckman Culture's own budget constraints, the, the, the cost of implementing these customers, you know, requiring us to physically send people on site to do all the configuration work, um, didn't always translate to a positive return on investment. But with this product, we realized that we were really changing that paradigm. So we set our sights on making a difference in this smaller lab segment with our cloud deployment model. So now I'd like to introduce you to Doug Mueller, who I mentioned earlier. Uh, Doug is the laboratory director at Mason District Hospital in Havana, Illinois, and was one of, uh, was actually the second uh, customer uh, for DX1 Workflow Manager, and they went live in December of 2018. So, Doug, I'll turn it over to you. Okay, thanks, Carol. Hello, everyone. My name is Doug Mueller, and as Carol mentioned earlier, I am the lab director at Mason District Hospital in Havana, Illinois. Uh, we're actually a small 25-bed uh, community-owned hospital. Uh, we're a member of the Critical Access Hospital Network. Uh, we perform about 60,000 tests here in, in, a, in a given year. Uh, a couple years ago, we found ourselves in need of several key instruments, and unfortunately, like a lot of other small labs, found our budget to be quite restrictive. Uh, we wanted to continue to be competitive with our larger hospitals 
in, in our area. So in doing this, we needed to have state-of-the-art instrumentation. We wanted the latest and greatest in technologies and methodologies like everyone else would always want, but we had to stay competitive in price. Uh, due to our remote location, we kind of had to have uh, reliable instrumentation because we really didn't have uh, the funds to have a backup instrumentation. Uh, results had to be comparable to our competitors, and we had to have our results available faster uh, so that our customers would have no reason to leave and go to the, uh, the larger hospitals. So we thought, uh, uh, we thought our LIS system was sufficient for our needs, uh, so we weren't really looking at a middleware or any type of software enhancement at all. Uh, but the more we got to looking into this, uh, the more we realized that our LIS was sufficient, but for a lab in the 80s and 90s, not in today's world. Now, what we needed to do, we needed to save time, we needed to save money, and we needed to become more efficient in pretty much everything that we did. Well, DX1 does exactly that. It helps us track our inventory. It helps us check our outdates so we're not uh, wasting reagents, so save money. Uh, it helps us to organize our monthly orders and send that order with just a push of a button. So, I mean, that was, that was a huge time saver for us. Uh, it auto-validates, so uh, in doing that, it helps us reduce our turnaround times. And then uh, with the, the software that kind of comes with this, uh, it allows us to track the turnaround time for any date range that I wanted to check. I, would, if I want to check it for a month, great, a week, great, or, or a year. I mean, it's just very, very versatile. Uh, but with this, I had a lot of concerns. Um, as like a lot of small hospitals, I knew we didn't really have the IT personnel to do this. So I knew I would become the IT person that would be in charge of setting this up. And I am so not an IT person. So initially we looked at several uh, hematology analyzers and automation for our micro lab. Uh, we preferred to make all of our purchases from uh, a single vendor just to help maximize our buying power. Uh, this left us with few options, but luckily for us, Beck and Coulter was one of those options. Our Beck and Coulter sales rep uh, actually got our team together and uh, really went to bat for us. Uh, with the, she had probably about a week's time. Uh, she had a whole plan laid out for us and uh, we were ready to go. And I'm happy to say, we stayed in budget, we got uh, the latest and greatest in technologies, we got uh, state-of-the-art equipment, and we got DX1 middleware, which again, we weren't really looking at, but it, it helped to manage all these units and our inventory. So uh, some of the improvements that we, we really saw on this was uh, DX1 is a cloud-based middleware that works with Amazon Web Servers, and uh, it manages everything for us. So I didn't have to spend hours programming the system or computer or something that I really don't know how to do, and the best part of it is cloud-based, so I don't have to do anything to maintain it. So, I mean, it was a win-win for us for that. Um, inventory was now managed by uh, just pressing a button. Uh, our monthly order is placed by pressing another button and then done. I mean, that, that's more good for uh, another month ago. Uh, when an inventory item has less than, say, 30 days left on its shelf life, uh, we get an automatic email that is sent to us, you know, warning us of this. And so with that, we, we don't have to worry about uh, rushed overnight shipments. We don't have to worry about expired reagents and uh, no more hours spent doing our monthly orders. Uh, turnaround time was also something that really uh, improved. Our average turnaround time for a, a CBC with differential in uh, January of 2018 was about 25 minutes. Uh, in January of this past year, here, it was about 15 minutes. That saves us 10 minutes. Now, uh, keep in mind, this is a a doctor waiting in the ER for uh, the, the, the patient's results, and him sitting there waiting by the phone for 10 minutes is an eternity, and you know that, that's just not a good situation for anyone to go through. So it was a, a very beneficial thing for us. And through this partnership with Beck and Coulter and uh, Amazon Web Service, Mason District Hospital was able to get the latest and greatest in equipment. We were competitive with our larger hospitals, and in many instances, I think we're even better. Uh, our customers do not have to leave the area for the testing. And the main thing, I stayed in budget. So Carol, I could talk for another hour or two on this, but I think it probably ought to stop there. Okay, Doug, thanks a lot. So thank you for your attention today. And we're really excited to be able to share our journey into the cloud with you. Beckman Coulter is really proud to continue to focus exclusively on laboratory diagnostics and performance, and we're excited to be able to use new technologies and new partnerships with companies like Amazon Web Services in order to do so. So thank you very much.